Water, no good. Everything, no good. Amita Meadow lost her car in Hurricane Ian. She just paid it off a couple of months ago. I need help. To somebody help me. She bought that car new in 2019 and says her insurance isn't giving her enough money to keep up with 2022 prices. That means she'll be turning to the used car market. We've never seen conditions like this before. We're at record level prices and inventory is so low that unfortunately you can bet that con men are going to take advantage of that. Carfax estimates over 350,000 cars were damaged in Hurricane Ian and many of those will go out for sale to unsuspecting customers. These vehicles, most of them are literally rotting from the inside out. They have electrical, mechanical health safety issues, things like maybe the brakes not working properly or the airbags won't deploy in an emergency or there's bacteria growing in the ventilation system. Fox 35 talked with several mechanics all over Central Florida who confirmed hidden flood damage is an issue in the used car market. They and Carfax all told me it's important to get a mechanic to inspect any used car before you buy it. If we do have customers from time to time that'll bring a vehicle which they purchased they thought was okay and unfortunately we found stuff that would have probably made them decide not to buy it mechanics told me think of how many computers there are in cars nowadays think of how quickly mold develops and how it seeps into cracks and crevices causing rust and one thing that i recommend everybody do whether they bring it to me or not or somebody else find a qualified technician or shop to inspect it a full carfax report does come with a fee but the company does offer a free flood report all you have to do is search it online. You go to this website, enter in the VIN for the car you're interested in looking up, type in your email address, and it comes up instantly. The whole process takes seconds, but again, you will still want to get that car inspected either way. In Orla Vista, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.